Hello, all my beautiful mystic friends. Welcome to your weekend reading. This is the affirmations for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, July 24th, 25th, and 26th. Here we are closing in on the July uh, energy, and they've got one more week to go, and we'll be moving into August. So, plodding along, we're making it one, one day at a time. So, this is what the energy of this reading is all about, allowing us to be in a place of bringing in what we need to manifest what we don't see in front of us now. So remember, this reading is not about what's happening currently. It's about what you envision happening for your life. So bringing in this positive affirmation helps us all to hang our hat on some energy. Plus, we're doing it together, so it makes it stronger. If you'd like a tarot reading where I do uh, your your energy, you can visit my website, royalmystic.com, and I'll be more than happy to assist you. I am using tarot cards, but this is an affirmation reading, so this is really about dream building and manifestation energy, bringing yourself out of the negative and into the positive, and changing your life in the vibration that you emit. If you'd like to see any of my other videos, you can scroll down in the description here. On the left corner, you'll see my eye icon. If you click that, it'll take you to my home page, and you can see all the free readings that I have available. With that being said, let's move on into our beautiful weekend energy. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you for your presence, Divine. Okay, let's see what we've got for the weekend, guys. Guys and gals. And, ooh, starting off pretty, pretty spectacular. We have the world card. The world card is the energy of universal alignment to open a portal into your new cycle, into the next step, into the next beginning. And it means, because it's the world card, it means you're in a higher position. So whatever you're beginning, you're not beginning from the bottom rung. This is being levitated up, so that means your, your vibration is higher, you've been doing some spiritual work, and therefore, this opening is going to advance you in that. So, love some world card energy. And also, you have to understand, it's also, this is the flower of life energy, because it is the Genesis pattern. So, we love that too. It's a sacred geometry symbol. Oh, hang on. I forgot I was going to read the top card. Grounding. I center and ground myself despite emotional upset around me. This is important. You don't, you know, this is something <laughs> I learned at my last job. Uh, and my boss probably went mad trying to drill it into me. Everyone else's emergency is not my emergency. And this is where we have to be in that place of being centered and not reacting to everyone else's thing. Now, compassion, yes, but you don't have to take on everyone else. You don't have to solve it. You don't have to be the one to fix it. You let them fix it. That's how they get their own strength and their own sense of accomplishment and empowerment. Because when you do it, you take away everything that they are responsible for. And then you also add more onto your plate, which who isn't already busy enough? Hello, right? So we've got empowerment. I recognize and appreciate all that inspires me to feel empowered. Now, I'm not telling you not to help people. I'm telling you not to take it on as your responsibility. You can give instructions. You can give guidance. You can give opinions. But every, every time you take someone else's... Now, if they don't have the ability to take care of it, that's one thing. If it's an elderly person or a child or someone who's got something going on that they are, just can't do it and they're asking for your help to assist, but not someone who is fully capable... You have to allow them to stand on their own two feet. At some point, you're not going to be there to hold their hand. So, recovery. The beautiful energy of recovery. You see this angel is sitting right with her healing angel energy. Beautiful divine light coming in. This is a good visualization for when we're in a place of not feeling so hot. 
and drawing in the divine healing. The angels are always there ready to assist. So it's there to have and you just have to be in a place of receiving. Sorry, you, one of my hick downs. Uh, you, you have to be in a place of receiving. I call those my hick downs. Those are my little energy processing weirdness uh, that happens when I'm doing the reading. So recovery is can be financial recovery, can be physical recovery, emotional, whatever you need to help. The angels are always there. And all you have to do is sit and bask in the energy. Crown chakra. Really important connection to divine and the whole uh, matrix, quote unquote. The uh, frequency of the crown chakra is the violet flower of life. This is the spiritual communication to the universe. And it supports our ability to transmit, transmute negative energy into light. So if any of you watch my weeklies or my dailies, if you're part of the daily actual membership, um, that is what we do is we use our, we, we unpack all the stuff and allow the crown chakra to be the sort of the portal to bring in all the healing and divine uh, reset of that energy. So this is a beautiful, number one, one of my favorite colors, violet. I love it. And uh, I'm drawn to that color, that and, and blue, of course, that's the third eye and the chakra, the ground chakra. So um, this is really important to surround yourself with things that bring that spiritual energy to you. Okay, so our top card here is everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good will come. I am safe. Now, if you've noticed, that's been a recurring theme in this, in this deck. There's a lot of I am safe statements because it is one of the most powerful, empowering statements that you can have. All is well in my world. Remember, we're calling in what does not exist. So even if you're in a place where this is not a true statement, we're making it true by, by saying it. We're calling that vibration. All is well in my world. Everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good will come. I am safe. I'm tilting it this way because it's written sideways. So, let's see what our shuffle card is. That was a great card. Okay, life supports me. Life created me to be fulfilled. I trust life, and life is always there at every turn. I am safe. Again, this, this is important. Life supports me. Life created me to be fulfilled. I trust life, and life is always there at every turn. I am safe. Absolutely. You can substitute the word life as God or the universe, whatever you want to put there. This is a general statement so that everyone can be adaptable to it. So let's see what the cards have to say. We've got the Hermit, the Virgo Major Arcana. This is some introspection. And usually when we're going through a, a challenge or a breakthrough, when we're about to step through a portal, we do take a long look at where we've come from and how far we've gotten. Because this, from, from the inner... Um, feeling of being lost to the, the world, that's a whole different step. Now, this is the seeker, and when I say feeling lost, this is where we're in that place of searching for answers and truth, not just any answers. No, no standard cookie-cutter answer is going to do when you're in this place of the hermit. This is using your higher self and your higher light to find your spiritual path. This means you're on the quest. There's the door opening for you, so you know it's going to work out. Ace of Wands, absolutely, the getting the passion for it, uh, getting a spark, getting the, the energy of realizing this is the empowerment here. She has the wand in her hand, so basically she's controlling the abracadabra moment, right? We receive that. Hello. And, boy, could this not have been a more empowering. <laughs> this is the Hanged Woman Cirque du Soleil action going on here, guys. <laughs> so, absolutely, in a carefree, fun-loving, happy-hearted, beautiful display of skill and joy, she is in a place of looking over everything with that creative spark because that has to be there for that kind of beautiful thought process to allow yourself to completely go within. And some of you actually practice this particular uh, yoga style. And, and that is 
why people do it because it is very much a place of allowing yourself to see things from a whole different perspective. Remember, again, I'll say it, I'm beating a drum here, we're in a marathon, not a sprint. So realize that you don't have to rush at anything and everything is working in your favor. So I hope you have a fabulous weekend. This is certainly a beautiful layout and I love each and every one of you. Thank you for watching and lending your energy. Many blessings and I'll see you next week. Namaste.